Welcome everyone to Van Life Sheldon's Travel. Welcome everyone. Today we are checking out the Wyoming Territorial Prison State Historic Site. Here's a little bit of the information. It opened around 1893, closed in 1981. And the prisoners were transferred to a new facility south of town when this one was deemed unhumane for prisoners to even be in. During the 1914 and 1915 era, they actually rebuilt the wall from 12 inches to 18 inches. As we enter the iron gates to the prison, there is a small gift shop and an elaborate museum here of all types of prison artifacts dating back to the start of this prison. Here in the front would be the warden's office and they kind of have it decorated as such. They had some unique items here in the gift shop. There is a museum here. It's open from 1901. It's 1981. So this is both interesting and a little morbid. It says the Wyoming State Penitentiary Cemetery, which is actually located right across the street. So if you were to serve a life sentence, you could go there eventually, but this is their names, when they passed, and their bed number. And it's crazy too, because you could see at the bottom that there's open beds, which means they obviously planned for more people. Here's an example of the sink and toilets and some of the plumbing. They actually have pieces of the rope from the hangings. I know it's hard to see through the glass, but here's an example of some of the shanks they used in the prison. Uh, prisoners. Some of the artifacts, leather work. There's a little information about the warden. was appointed April 17, 1911 as the first warden underneath the state. Built in 1872, it is one of the oldest buildings in Wyoming. It operates as a federal penitentiary 
from 1872 to 1890 and as a state prison from 1890 to 1901. Even though this gentleman's three terms for all different crimes spanning over 30 years, he created a lot of murals here in the prison, over 25. Here's one of the examples. I would assume this is kind of how a lot of the prison looked back in the day. Walls, this kind of floor, a lot of the uh, shanks and tools, contraband, some of the weapons used. along with all the cool license plates. Trouble in the crowd, it says. Some of the tools used by the inmates to disrupt the prison. Something I thought was interesting is this 12 gauge nightstick. It can be loaded with a 12 gauge shotgun shell. Appears to be the warden's house. Well, we thought we'd end this video right here at the warden's house. Good place to call it night. So, we actually did take the tour. It's $10 a person to actually tour the uh, prison. But they do not allow video photography, so I couldn't record it. But we did enjoy it. And we did uh, film in the museum, and I hope you enjoyed that. So, but till next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Patreon. Always thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button or the Patreon button or one of our hundreds of videos on our playlist below.